Welcome back to Baseball Feud, and today we have a special episode for you. I surveyed over 1,500 people. I asked them seven different questions, and Jack and Jake have to try to guess what the top five answers to each of those questions were. The rules are simple. If they get the number one answer correct, that's worth five points, and if they get the number five answer correct, that's worth one point. Every time they get a wrong guess, they get an X. Let's see who wins. All right, first question. What are the five best MLB mascots? And for some reference... We had over 1,500 people vote on this. By the way, Jake gets the first guess. We're back. It's good to be back. It's nice to be here. Viral family feud players. <laughs> <laughs> we finally made it. <laughs> I will pick. And he's on the board. He's not number one. The Philadelphia Fanatic. Well, Jake, he is our number one answer. At 38% of the audience vote chose the Philly Fanatic as the best MLB mascot. It's a lot of the vote. Would that have been your first pick? Yeah. It's kind of tough. This is a tough one because I only know, you only know the adjacent mascots. Right. Like, I know all the teams. I got that down. But I don't know all the mascots. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> August. I'm going to go with Wally the Green Monster. Wally the Green Monster snuck on our board at the number five answer. You never know what it's going to be. I remember at a surprisingly old age, I figured out that he was called the Green Monster because of the wall. Yeah. And his name is Wally. Yeah. It's like all based on the wall. Um, okay. We're still doing mascots. Still, yeah. What about the San Diego Friar? Mm, that is not on our board. I don't think I saw a vote for him. Oh. Oh. Single <laughs> vote? 15,000 people <laughs> and not a single <laughs> vote? 15 million people and nobody wow. liked him? Okay, this is kind of a stupid guess. So I'm not going to do it. It's early in the game. Are you just passing? <laughs> yeah. Show me Raymond. Oh, I hate Raymond. That is not on our board. I'm struggling to think of any. I'm going to go with my personal favorite. I'm big in this market. Uh, I'm going to go with Orbit, the Astros mascot. He is our number four answer. Orbit has made the board. I'm happy Orbit made the board. I like him a lot. Okay. I invited him to my wedding. He never showed up. You know the whole thing's like NASA? Yeah. It's kind of crazy. And NASA like doesn't really do much anymore. The Astros have cool branding. I like the Astros. Houston Rockets. Oh, they're really into space down there. Yeah. yeah. It's like a whole thing. Well, they, they kind of rode off the initial launch for a while. Like, Houston, we have a problem. Like, they've been living <laughs> off that high for years. Yeah. Are you delaying because you don't know the I answer? Have, I have this no does idea. feel like a delay tactic. <laughs> what is another mascot? I've got a few, but I don't think of them as, Ooh. like, well. Oh. Mr. Met. He is our number three answer. Mr. Met is on the board. And Stink. Mrs. Met received 20 votes, which I thought was funny. That's nice. <laughs> They're definitely a package deal. Also and it's clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a baseball man. He's just a it's baseball. It's a pretty good baseball mask. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will go, I think his name is Billy the Marlin, and he finished last place. That is incorrect. Yeah. I like the Marlin, but other people didn't. Did he get votes? Did he get 20 votes? Mrs. Matt got 20 votes. Mrs. Matt pulled better than Mr. Marlin. But, yeah, I'm sorry. Billy got less votes than Mrs. Matt. Show me Mr. Red. Incorrect. Who is this elusive to? God, these are hard. Oh, I got it. I think I have it. I have beef with this guy. Yeah. Is it Blooper? Blooper yeah. is oh, my number boo. two answer. You have beef with Bloops? Me and Blooper fight on the internet every other week. I just enjoy the fact that some guy gets to troll, like, troll people online as, like, praise. I like that Blooper lives in a suit of sadness. <laughs> And I do, too. <laughs> well, Jack, you get first pick this round, and our next category is what is the best City Connect jersey according to our audience? Public opinion at a fashion stance. All right. It's tough. It's going to be eye-opening, I bet. Show me Marlin. Marlin is our number three answer okay. on the board, which gave me a lot of hope in society. And this is awesome that it's number three because that was the very first one, like two yeah. years right. ago. Right. That means it had some staying party. Yeah. Party. I believe in this jersey. I have to go Nationals. Nationals are our number four answer okay. on the board. Okay. Also one of the first ones ever released. Yeah. I'm going to go, hopefully this... The team being the worst isn't tainting it, but I'm going to go with the south side. The White Sox are our number two answer, okay. and it was a cl a, it was a tight one and two. Like, it was really close. Mm -hmm. I had to count all the votes. I think it was separated by six total votes in the end. Yeah. And who is first? <laughs> <laughs> I almost said it. The, they're cool. 
I'm also a little surprised they've stood the test of time so much. It's crazy that these are the three best teams in baseball. I think I'm setting Zoe up for the perfect. Jake, you just guessed the number five answer um, because I have to guess San Diego. Jake, you just guessed the number one answer. Oh. The San Diego Padres are number one city connector. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. You're not sea lioning it yet. We can't sea lion on this program. <laughs> so really. You're not sea lying again? You can't sea lion again. I was blown away that this was the number one answer. I mean, it's the most unique. Like, the Padres is the most, like, close to, like, a minor league party Saturday jersey. It's the official uniform for day drink. Four in a row. Good job, guys. No X. Clear so it. Clear it. I was not expecting Padres number one. Show me NASA Houston. Incorrect. Your guess? Did you, did you try to see Lion? I have a guess. Yes. I don't think this is what the people picked, but I think it's a good jersey. I'm going to go with Baltimore. Incorrect. I do agree. It is a good jersey, though. That one, I think, was forgettable. They could have done a little more. Yeah. Cincinnati. That is our number five answer, Jack. <laughs> the Cincinnati Reds, which is huge because when I did an office poll about this, a lot of people were in on the Reds, which I yeah. thought was interesting as well. The 21 people. Our next category, Jake with the first Ooh. guess. What are the five best MLB team wow. logos? A lot of best. This is tough. Best logo. Like, what's on the hat? Yes, and there was a very clear number one answer. I feel like this is going to lean more towards just general branding. Like, one specific version of a logo. Is That's what I'm worried be? about. I'm worried about, like, is our audience so Yankee-based that it's core that, like, the Yankees are on there? Because it's also a pretty iconic hat. Yeah, I mean, Yankees is a good logo. Like, Jay-Z made the hat more famous than right. the Yankees can. Is it my guess or yours? It is Jake's guess. I'm going to guess the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees are on our board, and they are a number three answer. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, I'm going to go Dodgers. Dodgers are not on our board. Mm. Now, that was an unintentional fake out because I thought they were on our board, yeah. and then I read and figured out. That they were. Okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> Give me the Toronto Blue Jays. That is not on our board. Okay. This uh, one feels like we're going to get a lot of misses because there's just so many teams. There's a lot of teams. How many to be exact, and could you name them all? 31 next year. Reveal. Imagine this is how MLB announced it. Rob, Rob Manfred. Manfred comes comes out out on the <laughs> <screen>. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Rob. <laughs> so he talks. This is tough. It is tough. Ooh. Show me that purple P, that P, the yellow P in Pittsburgh. Incorrect. I'm so cool if that was right. I'm going to guess that your guy's minions got involved, and I'm going to go Boston Red Sox. That is incorrect. We don't have a ton of Red Sox fan following. And the logo's buns. I think the Red Sox socks is a very good logo. Oh, and the B is pretty iconic. I'm surprised it's not there. Yankees at three is making me a little confused. I think it's thrown off the whole board. <laughs> do you go with the cool new teams or do you go with tradition? Well, I think the Yankees have a cool logo. Yeah, but them being at three, it's in my head they're five or one. The thing I want to say right now is like... One of my least favorite logos. That feels like a bad pick, man. <laughs> yeah, I feels like not. one you're gonna regret. <laughs> I wouldn't go with your least favorite logo. That seems like a bad idea. I'm gonna go Rangers. That is incorrect. No okay. way. That did not feel like a you guess. Yeah, I just thought of it. Let's go out west. I'm gonna go right. San Diego Fathers. That is incorrect. Sheesh. And unfortunately, you have both struck out yeah, with sure. only the number three answer coming All off right. the board Let's at number five. Which we guess? Yeah, sure. Is my guess is going to be the one and the two. Those teams have like a very iconic secondary logo. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. You can guess. No, you can just. You can guess. Twins. Incorrect. You would, you would be wrong. Our number five answer was the Miami Marlins. Our number four answer, the St. Louis Cardinals. I was going to guess Cardinals. Number two, the Baltimore Orioles. And at number one with 40%. Of the vote, which is a crazy amount, was the Milwaukee Brewers. Whoa. 40% of our audience voted the Milwaukee Brewers as the best MLB team logo. The alternate glove. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Logo. Yeah. Remember when I said this is my least favorite logo? It was the Orioles. You don't okay. like the Orioles logo? The bird I hate. 
Does it haunt your nightmares? The happy little bird is makes no sense to yeah, me. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. Who is the coolest player in baseball right now? Now, can I have a qualifying question? I will allow one qualifying question and one maybe qualifying question. Is there Goof Samak? No Goof Samak. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right. I get first guess? Jack does get first guess. Shohei Otani. He is our clear number one answer. Shohei Otani dominated Pretty cool. the voting. He's a cool guy. I have to assume, and now it's just Homer Jake here. I have to assume the kids think Aaron Judge is pretty cool. He did not make our top five wow. player list, unfortunately. Wow, okay. Whoa. Wow, this just opened up potential for a massive round by Jack whoa, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I got to throw it out there. Tatis. He also did not okay. make yeah, our he's top still five out. list. That okay. makes sense because it's right now, but okay. I don't know if it, he stuck around. Okay, I have another guess ready. I have a guess. You go first. And if they're not on the board. Corporate bullshit. We rip Zoda pieces. Okay. Literally. Teeth and fingers. In front of the camera. Yeah. Jazz Chisholm Jr. He's not on our board. Don't hurt me. <laughs> that is not correct. Preseason, he makes Pre-season, it. Preseason, he makes it. I didn't know. Okay. I'm going to go Ronald Acuna. That is our number two answer, oh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Snap. He is my vote for <laughs> the coolest player in baseball. I would be remiss if I didn't guess this player. I'm going to guess Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts? Got on our board at the number five okay. answer. It's fine. Just that couldn't. was my next guess. I just couldn't get shut out. That wasn't my next guess, and I was going to be like, I would be okay if he didn't make it. <laughs> right. Because he's cool in a way that I think dads would appreciate more than the Yes. Kids. Oh, I have a guess. Ooh. Shit. Oh, golly. I thought it would. I, and next time, if we do this again, the fans should do this. Arp, I, I'd arp, arp. Love, <laughs> I would love if Ploof was on the list. Ooh. Like if he was four. Is it my guess? It is your guess, Jake. That was actually oh. a really important guess because you just right. put the pressure I got on another Jack guess. Again. Yeah, I know, and I know who three is. Ooh, I'm gonna go with Randy. He was our number six answer. Oh, that's a good guess. Mookie just beat out Randy in the polling. That felt like the third answer in my head. Randy's pretty cool. Randy would have been a great five. I don't. Tampa think. still hurts. Like, yeah, yeah, that's fair. The number three answer. I'm sorry. Alaska Airlines spokesperson, Julio Rodriguez. He is our number four answer. Okay. He is on the board, though. Good poll, Jake. Mm. We could clear this board. Let's clear it. I'm now rooting for you. Jake, two huge guesses in a row because Jack did tie the game, and now you've pulled back into the lead. Who's that player? The kids are always, wow, that guy's cool. Give me Bo Bichette. That is in. Wow, Bo Bichette is cool. He's very cool. <sighs> this isn't right, but I'm going to guess Bryce Harper. That is incorrect. Yeah. I don't. The third answer is a tough one. It's Ellie De La Cruz was voted the third coolest. I almost threw that really? out. Yeah, that he's cool he's he's awesome, but he's too beloved currently. I'm sorry. He just hasn't had a highlight in a little bit. He had like a bad shot. Yeah, good for him. He is cool. He's very cool. Good round. And for this video, we have a new segment: Fast Money. Five questions that have absolutely nothing to do about baseball. You each get one guess per question. Alternate who guesses first. If you get it correct, you get a point. Jack, you went last in the last question. So, Jake, you start us off. Which sports team has the most Instagram followers? I'm assuming U.S. major sports. Yes, U.S. major sports. I would guess the Dallas Cowboys. Incorrect. Oh, I know it's one of these two. Lakers. Also incorrect. Warriors? The Golden State <laughs> Warriors are the most Instagram followers. Okay. I took that one hard. <laughs> <laughs> I came up with all of these in the bathroom in oh. two minutes. Okay. All right. What fast food Didn't place ask. sells the most breakfast food by sales? What? <laughs> Can you repeat the question? <laughs> the most <laughs> breakfast food? Five, four. <laughs> what fast food place sells the most breakfast food by sales? And did I come up with this question because I wanted fast food for I'm breakfast? I'm, I'm, Maybe. <laughs> uh, we'll go McDonald's. That is correct. Okay. That is one point. <laughs> yes. Next, what is the most popular Pop-Tart flavor, Jake? Oh, wow. Uh, blueberry. Incorrect. Brown sugar. Incorrect. It is strawberry is the most That's popular. That's corporate bullshit. What? It's the best flavor. It might be the best flavor. Jack, how much does a <laughs> Home Depot bucket cost? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, two ninety nine. Incorrect. Shit. My bad. Um, Free. That is a terrible <laughs> guess. It is $4.48, and I'm upset neither of you knew that. Did we have to get that on the money? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most popular condiment in the United States? I have to guess ketchup. Incorrect. Mayo. It is mayonnaise. I was, uh, <laughs> Mayo king. I'm the king. And Jack comes out of fast money with two bonus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
All right, our next question. Now, I do have this as a bit of a Jack category because we have a Jake category coming up. Mm. What is the best MLB The Show cover? Now, I will accept year or player as an answer. Now, this is the game or just the cover? Just the cover. Was Judge on a cover? Judge was on our cover, and he was the number five answer. Okay, Aaron Judge, I'll take 2018. that. The soft guess. Sure was. Didn't know he was on. It. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was seventy five percent. He was on the cover. Uh, I'm gonna go with 2014 Puig. Wow, good guess, but not on our board. Okay. <laughs> I love that cover. Yeah. Uh, Tatis. He's our number two answer this year. Oh, Jack category. Jack <laughs> category. <laughs> 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 Can you please do that in the next Boone episode? <laughs> <laughs> Series sweep. Ar, ar, ar. Josh Donaldson, 2015. Also in crazy. What the hell? Am I out? No, you're not, but I did say this was a Jack category, and Jake is two for two, and you're 0 for two. I'm going to go recency bias, and I will guess Yaz Chisholm again. He is our number four answer oh, the show dude. 23, which... I liked the cover, but I do think that Puig and Donaldson were better. Well, I guess I'm kind of running out of years now, and I might just be making the same mistake over and over again, but show me Javi. Jack, I'm sorry. You're 0 for 3. Those are my top three. That is also incorrect. And Jake, with no strikes and three correct (laughs) answers on the board, it is your turn. Javi was the last player I knew as a cover. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm just going to guess years. <laughs> Smart. Uh, I remember, uh, what was it, that? <laughs> I want to say it was 2013 that it was. Uh, you want me to tell you who it was? It was Andrew McCutcheon. That is incorrect. Okay. Don't answer this, but who was last year's? Oh, oh. Was Shohei on the cover? Jake, that is our number oh, one Oh, Jack category. Jack kind of gave ooh, you that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> when was he on? 22. <laughs> was Shohei on oh. the whole intro? Oh, it was cool, yeah. yeah. It was sick. It they was They put awesome. it in the Times Square thing. Yeah. And to sweep the category, the first ever swept category. I think I have to leave. I have to go with that famous 2010 cover. That is incorrect. Okay. Well, then it's got to be that. 2011 cover. That is also incorrect. The third answer was the 2017 Ken Griffey Jr. edition, which was sick. That was cool. I just had such a rush from Fast Money, and I got two I points. And you just got, you got fast what, 100? He's just got you kind of took 12 the bait. points that round, and you got zero. It's a 12-point round out of 15. And here is our next question. Mm. Who's the best pitcher in baseball all, pitcher all time? time? Last time we did best player in baseball, mm-hmm. and everyone had some hot takes. No pitchers on that list. No pitchers on that list. Other than so Babe Ruth. So let's see what people have to say now. I mean, I'm not thinking tungsten on my doyle. Where are you going to go with this one? Is that your penis? <laughs> <laughs> I should go... Modern legends. I should go old, old, which is what I'm going to do. Sandy Tofax. That is incorrect. He's on lists. He was on my guessable guys. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad guess at all. No, 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 no. I did land into an answer I love because mm-hmm. it kind of splits the gap of what you're talking about because this is a brutal question. Yeah. But there's a guy that top five cannot be argued against. Pedro Martinez. He is on our board. He's the number three answer, Pedro okay. Martinez. Yeah. He just he splits the gap perfectly right yeah. now. Like yeah. It's recent enough that he was good. He's still relevant. Yeah. Excellent analysis by Jake. Thank you, Jake. Named my cat after Pedro. We got two kittens. I named mine Pedro after Pedro Martinez. My sister named hers Dave after Gabriel the Angel. Pedro got hit by a truck on Thanksgiving. Well, Dead? Gabriel. Dead. Dave's still kicking. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Angels. Pedro so, turned into the angel. Are you done with cats? Um, my family's always had them, but I'm allergic. I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, so, so I, I really, I never really connected with them. I'm allergic to sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm obviously gonna have to go with Roger Clemens. <coughs> that, that is incorrect. It's a good guess, but I don't think he's liked enough. I'm five strikes in a row. I uh, I have bad news because I definitely have another top five, but I don't know where the people put them. The big unit, Randy Johnson. Who is our number one answer? Wow. Randy Johnson was voted as the best pitcher of all time by wore, our audience. I wore his jersey yesterday. <laughs> I mean, all time kind of threw me off. That's fair. Are there any currents? No. Well, it seems like we're narrowing 
an era. Right. Like, these guys are still respected for being. Yeah. People. Nolan Ryan. He's our number two answer. Wow, Nolan Ryan nice. is on the I'm board. Trying. Good poll, Jack. Boy, did you need that. I really Zoe did. Zoe is getting sad. <laughs> I was disappointed in you. That's even worse. Who was I just thinking of? Oh. Um, Greg Maddox. He's our number four answer. Greg Maddox yeah. is on the board. Good guess, Jake. Thank you. Those are the big three names that would come up. Nolan, Randy, and Greg. What Pedro has, Pedro arguably has the best season ever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. baseball people will never let that go. Shout out Foolish Baseball's video. Who? Up and coming guy, I think. Who's number five? You got this. Red hand? I can give a hint if you both agree at some point. Give me a hint. I have to have a mutual agreement by both of you. I have one kind of cool guess left. Just show me. Give the hint. I'm going to guess. Give the hint. I want the hint. Give me the hint. It's a reliever. Okay. I'm going to go with Mariana Rivera. That is the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> that was the correct answer. Yeah. Probably the best two rounds in a row in the history. In the history. And I got one. Now, I don't mean to <laughs> alarm you, Jack. But Jake has broke the record for most points ever scored on a baseball feud with one category to go. What he has 46 you? points, and you have 28. So I'm in it. I do have a bonus point available oh, sick. in this round. <laughs> That I will make worth two bonus points okay, now. Okay, great. If you get it. If Jake gets it, he gets no bonus points. What are the five least likable MLB fan bases? I'd be remiss to not guess my own New York Yankees. The Yankees are our number one answer. And the bonus points, unfortunately, were attached <laughs> to this question. He can get the bonus points. Jake, you can get the bonus points. If you can get the percentage of what it was, I will give you two bonus points. I... Would guess sixty nine percent. It's a little too high. It was forty eight percent of the audience said Close. the Yankees had the least likable fan base. It was either sixty nine or forty two. So I'm glad. Either way, Jake, you're in the fifties. You put up a fifty burger. Show me Philly. That is incorrect. I can't get anything today. You're cold. I'm so cold. You've That's got, not even a bad guess. No. That's a good guess. You've got ice. Maybe I'm not thinking about the fans enough. Uh, unfortunately, the number two answer is probably the Houston Astros. And unfortunately, you are correct, Jake. That is our number two answer, the Houston Astros. This is a legacy right This is like Jake. Wilt Chamberlain. Yeah, you're putting up Wilt numbers right now. Clearing wow. boards. Did you wake up with a tingle today? This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Show me Boston. They are a number five answer. The Red Sox beat <laughs> out the Phillies. Let me get my point. <laughs> At number three, I'll take the Los Angeles Dodgers. That is incorrect. They are a number four answer. I mean, you're shooting it into the stands, and it's <laughs> going in the basket. <laughs> this is, if you get this, you win. <laughs> um, I bet it's going to be a sneaky, like kind of a relevant team. Like the Rays. Incorrect. I just roasted the Rays for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to deal with that. <laughs> you got a fan base coming for you. I will guess the New York Metropolitans. Jake, you're in your prime. That is the number three answer. Jake, with what a legendary run to close out all, baseball feud. All I want to have is me say an answer, and Zoe starts the sentence and saying, Jack, you're in your prime. <laughs> Since our first ever fast money category, Jake outscored Jack after Jack closed a gap to two points. 34 to 2. <laughs> I got two points in the second half of the video? You got the number five answer. Nolan. I got Nolan. You got Nolan was big. <laughs> Nolan oh, was you're big. right. I missed okay. that one. Yeah. So okay. You, got, you got, five. got six points six. in total. I wish it was two. But either way, Jake, what a run. Jake leads our Family Feud Series 2 to 1. Thank you. In dominant fashion. We're polling. Comment what you want me to ask them next time. <laughs>